welcome to the Lean Girl YouTube channel and welcome to my what I eat in a day to build lean muscle. Yeah, yeah. This is one of my favorite videos to not only film but to watch. I love eating what I, I love watching. I don't eat the videos. I love watching what I eat in a day videos. I think that they always give such amazing meal ideas. Okay, some people give terrible meal ideas and they're very boring to watch. So I hope that today's video is going to inspire you in the kitchen. It is gonna share some valuable information about building lean muscle and how you are going to start optimizing your training and your nutrition to build those can you see a little muscle growing? I think I can. Shame. It takes long, my girls, which is why I'm making this video so that you can really start fine tuning your nutrition when it comes to building muscle. So before we even get into the meals for today, I wanted to do a little intro. I have done part one and part two, uh, part two of the muscle building series already. And um, the first one was why you need to build muscle. So if you are not yet convinced that you need lean muscle to look hot AF, then part one is where you need to start. Part number two is, guys, I'm getting so hot with this thing. Like, well, I'm sweating. And and sh the shield, shield Dio normally helps a girl out, but it, it's, I'm gonna put it on, on small. Um, it is actually warm outside, but I love to be like extra toasty in this house and our gas heater is just the best. Um, but I also feel like when I talk, I just exude energy and then it makes me really hot. Anyway, part two was my top muscle building tips in terms of your nutrition, in terms of your training. So if you're not sure on the how to, um, then you need to check that out. Now the third part is the what I eat today to build lean muscle, to give you some ideas on how I build my meals. All of the meals that I'm gonna show you today are gonna to be low calorie, as always. They are gonna be high volume and they are gonna be really high protein because protein is the essential macronutrient that we wanna include in every single meal when we are trying to optimize muscle protein synthesis. That's a fancy way of saying muscle growth, okay? So you're gonna see every single meal is gonna be prioritizing protein. I'm gonna share with you some of my little hacks which really help to up and bump the protein up in each meal, which I know a lot of you struggle with. I'm currently at maintenance calories, which is around 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day. The, what I eat in a day today is gonna to be around 1,750 to 1,800. The reason why I do that is on a normal day, like today, I'm at home, I'm in my normal routine, um, it's really easy for me to make my own meals and stick within that calorie budget. Then on the weekends, I'm a little bit more lenient with myself. So if I'm going out for dinners, if I want a few extra blocks of chocolate, if I want some wine or some champagne, I know that overall at the end of the week, my calories probably on average are sitting closer to 2000 calories per day if you add it all up. So during the week, I tend to stick to the 1.8 and then a bit more leeway on the weekend. This is a great way to give yourself a little bit more room to breathe. Um, but still making sure, and this is key, and what I discussed in my previous videos, is that when you are trying to build muscle, we can't be in a calorie deficit. We have to be sitting at maintenance, and even better, in a slight surplus. As you girls know, it is hopefully my wedding coming up at um, the beginning of August. So the, August, what am I talking about? 11th, it's been changed so many times, I can't keep up. The 11th of November, okay? So that's in pretty much eight weeks or so time. So I'm not trying to do anything drastic, not like anything with drastic would happen in such a short period of time, but I'm pretty much trying to stay kind of where I am. My dress fits so perfectly. I don't wanna like have to change anything or alter anything. So I'm really pretty happy with where I am now, besides the fact that I want to build and really, you know, optimize my muscle growth because I know that that is going to get me to my goal of where I want to be. In the past couple of months, I've been working on building muscle, but again, I've been like a bit back and forth, okay, maintenance, then a bit in a deficit and not really focusing a big chunk of time on being in maintenance, which I know is where I need to be. And let me tell you, once the wedding is done, I am definitely gonna be hitting a bit of a surplus, which I'm very excited about. And I will definitely be tracking my journey for you girls because the next program that I am really excited to create is going to be on muscle building. And so once you've done, for example, my first program, the Lean Body Lab, that will get you to a wonderful place of maintenance where you will then want to move into more of a muscle building phase that is focused on fat loss, 
and losing fat while still building as much muscle as you can along that journey. But then there are some more specifics that I wanna go into in terms of really optimizing muscle in my new program, which I am really pumped to create. So today's video is gonna be about how I stick to that 1-8 calories. You'll see that I still eat really big meals, even though my calories are higher than my you know, cutting calories. And then I'm thinking before the wedding, I might shed like one or two kilos. So I might do like a mini four week cut. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see another what I eat in a day video um, on a lower calorie, because I know that's always a little bit more challenging, but you'll be shocked at what this magician can do with a low-cal budget. I can still make really high volume meals. Um, so let's get straight into the eating. Let's get into the first meals. You will notice um, that I am no longer doing intermittent fasting. I obviously have more calories to play with now being at maintenance level. Um, I'm also gonna do a little body update in this video to just show you guys where I'm at. But so yes, I'm not doing intermittent fasting at the moment. It's a great tool if your calories are very low and having a short eating window can really help um, with the calorie deficit. However, now when I'm really trying to optimize muscle gain, getting that protein after your workout is really vital um, to making sure you're doing the best that you can, knowing that muscle growth is slow, knowing that those little extra percentages here and there are these small tweaks that we can make are going to make a difference when we add them all up. So you'll see I'm not doing intermittent fasting. I have my protein um, shake very soon after I get home from gym then the rest of my meals. And so let's get straight into the pre-gym um, drink that I have. And then we are gonna get straight into the shakes, the brekkie, and then it's actually already like midday here. So I am gonna rewind back to the morning and then I'm gonna meet you in the kitchen again a bit later to make lunch. So enjoy. I hope that you guys love the video. I hope that it gives you some fab meal ideas. Um, let's get eating. Okay, hello lovely girls. If I look completely different, it's because I actually had to retake the pre-gym situation. When I started editing the video, I was watching myself and guys, I don't know if it was the pre-workout because I actually filmed it after I had come back from gym, but I basically spoke a whole lot of nonsense for about eight minutes straight. Like, I just wanted to save you from having to listen to me talk about a whole lot of stuff, like saying a lot, but saying very little. So I decided that I was gonna re-film the part about my pre-gym supplements, well, all the supplements that I take in general, so I can make it really short and snappy and concise and get to the point. Cause I haven't had too much caffeine today. So hopefully we're gonna get there. So let me get right into the pre-gym situation that I have. You guys know I'm not for a lot of supplements. I don't take a lot of supplements. I don't take a lot of pills and shakes and all the kind. I basically just have protein shakes and then a couple of things that I'm gonna be showing you guys now. There are very few supplements that actually do anything. So majority of them, you are wasting your time, your money, and you're probably wasting your money with this one too, but you guys know I love them so much. So every single day, I start my day with one of these GNC. Um, hair, skin and nails, the, the only reason that I take them, the only is it be, it's because it's a sweet and it tastes really yummy. So I buy these from Clex, they're totally overpriced. I think they're like 300 Rand, but they're really delicious and they do have like a lot of good vitamins if they even do anything. So this is what I have first thing in the morning before gym. Then if it's a leg day, I do take pre-workout. I try not to take it every single day. The only thing that pre-workout does is it basically gives you energy to perform better at the gym. There's no secret fat loss. There's no secret muscle building. It basically just helps you to do more hard work. So the pre-workout that I love, it's got a serious kick is the Metalab one. So this is the Metalab pre-workout potion and the flavor is pomegranate rose. They have a really, they have many good flavors. Um, the serving size for this is two scoops, but to be honest, like one is probably enough. If you're sensitive to caffeine, do not take two. Like it's extreme, but it does work. And I definitely find myself pushing a lot harder. I think some of it's mental as well. But if you're looking for a good, good pre-workout, 
definitely one to try. Then with my pre-workout, I will have some creatine. So you guys know that I am all for creatine. This really helps to optimize your muscle gains. I promise you, you are not gonna get huge. You're not gonna get bulky. Creatine is one of the most widely researched supplements and it is 100% safe. It is really recommended, especially for us females who are not blessed in the muscle building department in terms of our hormones, in terms of our bodies. So very recommended. Um, you can go with, this is just the USN one. It's really affordable too. I've also been using the Metalab um, Mechanic. So this is, this has creatine in it and it's got some other fancy schmancy ingredients that are gonna help you with super strength, power and the gains. Um, so this has also been really fab. I haven't used it for long enough to tell you whether it's any different to the regular creatine that I was taking before, but I will keep you guys posted on that. Then while I gym, um, I also like to drink sometimes BCAs. Guys, if you're eating enough protein, BCAs pretty much does nothing. A lot of people spend a lot of money on BCAs and, and people promote it as a supplement that's really important. Again, if you're eating enough protein, if you're hitting that protein goal, it is not important to have. I just really like it because it helps me to drink more water. So I'll have a BCA in the morning. Um, Metalab has a really nice one. Another one that I just grabbed and clicked because my Metalab ran out, which is actually pretty nice, is this uh, Nutritech BCAs. It was also pretty affordable. The calories are basically zero. And this flavor is Glacial Grape and tastes pretty nice. Um, I quite like that in my water in the morning, which helps me to drink my gym water really, really quickly. And sometimes I'll throw my creatine in there or I'll throw it in with my pre-workout, depending if I'm having that every day. And then last but not least, um, something else that I've been having is this Green Vibrance Probiotic. Also, it's pretty expensive, but it's incredible. Let me tell you, I have struggled previously with IBS and um, some gut health issues. And I promise you, like, this stuff is life-changing. It is expensive, so I actually have been alternating doing it one day on, one day off, or you could do half a scoop a day, depending on which one you prefer. Um, but I must say, it really has made a huge difference to my gut health, and I just feel like it's worth it. So if you're looking for a good probiotic, you can get this at Wellness Warehouse, and I think a couple of online shops as well, so um, you can check that out. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much it for my pre-gym morning routine of supplements. I feel like I said that wasn't gonna be a lot and I also felt like I said this part was gonna be quick and I'm almost on six minutes. So maybe my eight minutes wasn't too bad with one story in between. Um, but I hope that that is gonna help you. Um, and then we are gonna get it straight into, we're gonna pretend we're jam, like we're back in the same day and we're gonna go to, I think it was my post gym shake. So I will check you there. Okay, so here's a quick tutorial on my morning lingal milkshake. So I add about three quarters of a cup of um, ice to my large Nutribullet container, and then I go ahead and add about a half a cup of water. I then always use half a banana. I don't know, it just ch changes the texture and makes it really creamy. And then I'm using my favorite ever caramel Metalab protein powder, which makes all the difference. Um, I do have a code Lean Girl 15 for 15% off. And then I popped in some butter scotch. Um, it's supposed to be like a coffee syrup, but please don't buy it it doesn't taste like much um, but I'm actually just using it as a sweetener here and there we go pretty easy my lean girl protein milkshake with my giant straw from Tapo you have to get one of these Okay, on to my real breakfast here. I am doing my Lean Girl Carrot Cake Overnight Oats, which is a delicious, creamy, sweet oats. I'm using 40 grams of instant oats. You guys know I love my Scottish porridge oats. I then add a pinch of salt, which is 100% necessary for delicious oats. I then added some water and popped it into the microwave to just cook it up a little bit. And now I'm throwing in one finely grated carrot. Um, and then of course, lots of sweetener. <laughs> I use three sweeteners for this, but 
life you can absolutely go according to your own taste preference then a good handy helping of cinnamon which you guys know is my favorite thing of all time i can never have enough cinnamon and then i'm adding in some unsweetened almond milk which is going to bring some creaminess as well as a little bit of fat-free cottage cheese now all you have to do is mix it all up really well and then you are going to pop on the lid and pop this into the fridge for preferably two hours and it is going to soak up all the liquid and make the most delicious creamy and of course this is cold so a really nice summer dish and i'm then topping it off with some of my favorite of all time a walden's farm maple sugar-free calorie-free syrup and that is my delicious creamy, yummy, lean girl protein overnight oats. Remember that all of these recipes are inside my lean girl kitchen coach. So you don't have to write all of this down. Okay guys, so my groceries actually just got delivered. I have been using this Checkers 60 app, which has been fab. I don't know if there's even anything exciting in here that I'm gonna share with you, but um, I may as well anyway. So this is the milk that I use. It's the Almond Breeze. Um, unsweetened it's like the lowest calorie milk you can practically get I use it in my coffee I use it for a lot of my desserts so that's really nice um, and a bit cheaper at Checkers as well then for tonight I'm already thinking about dinner I got some ostrich mints which as you can see it basically has no fat in it which means it's high protein and low fat and essentially low calories so we're gonna make be making something fun with those um and you really don't need the extra fat to be honest some gherkins which i love to put in my salad and on my sandwiches gillan complains if there's no gherkins love the gherkins um i also got some beef pastrami i actually normally have the chicken one which i already have in the fridge which i'm going to use for lunch but i get this for gillan because he likes a bit of beef okay guys this is my new obsession as you can see and it's called this is the new monster it's basically like zero sugar but it is high caffeine so you have to be careful it tastes so good i'm now keeping like a few of these in the fridge all the time <laughs> and i had one the other night before i went out and i got home and i couldn't sleep it wasn't fun so i can't have these like past two o'clock those are my little guilty pleasure and by the way the calories are so good like for the whole thing, I think it's like 11 calories. So yeah, it's pretty good. What else did we get? Oh, I got some rolls, which I'm gonna do for Gilan with his beef pastrami for lunch. I like to keep lunch simple um, and not to have too many cooked elements. Then what I'm gonna be using for lunch as well is I've got some baby marrows. Guys, the, the calories are so low. It's like 17 cows or something for 100 grams of baby marrows. I'm gonna do my um, zucchini chips and a lot of you have been asking me how I do them. So I'm gonna do it with those babies. Then, you know, you know, the um, sandwich thins. Woolworths has these as well. This is the um, checkers version, well, blue ribbon. And oh, I just got some spring onions, which I also like to add to my salads and sandwiches. And then, haha, <laughs> haha. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know all about these. These are the wraps that I have a slight obsession with. Guys, the calories and macros are so good. Like, it's a bit ridiculous. Okay, let me read it out to you. So, each wrap is like, 75 calories which means two for one and the protein is so good it's like seven grams of protein for one wrap so if you have two of these it literally adds 14 grams of protein and it's basically a carb and they taste great like they taste like normal tortilla wraps they don't taste like veggies which some of the others do so i got three packets there's five in each um because i basically have two every single day and sometimes they get sold out especially after i post it on instagram so that was my little shopping haul i have lots of stuff in the fridge this is just extras i kid you not i probably buy groceries like every two or three days uh gilan and i eat so much um but i just wanted to show that to you and then we will get into lunch 
Okay, so let's get started on lunch. You guys can all soon see that I have a slight cottage cheese addiction. I'm using cottage cheese once again to make a delicious sauce that is gonna form part of my lunch. I mix some sriracha and some lifestyle food sweet chili sauce with that, and it honestly makes the most delicious spicy sauce ever. I'm then chopping up some medium tomatoes into slices, which are also gonna go into my wrap. That piece that disappeared absolutely went straight into my mouth. <laughs> I'm then going in with some spring onions which I am chopping up finely. Um, I don't really like raw onion but spring onions are fab. Then I'm going to be doing some yummy eggs. Um, I have an egg obsession right now especially when I get the yolk really perfect. So I have two eggs that I made there in my non-stick pan and then I'm going in with some turkey as well for my wrap which you'll see I weigh out all of my items especially when I'm trying to be accurate on my calories. And um, so I'm gonna be adding some turkey and some eggs and some cottage cheese to my wrap, which means they are really high protein. And these wraps specifically are high protein in themselves. These are the low carb um, blue shirt bakery wraps. Um, and guys, they are so delicious and they are only about 70 calories per one. So this is such a good fave combo of mine with the spinach, tomato, eggs, turkey, my spicy cottage cheese, it's a winner. Okay girls, so this is lunch. I tried very hard to have something that wasn't my wrap, but it didn't go very well. I like to keep it pretty simple when it comes to lunch, so nothing too hectic to cook. The only thing that I really did was warmed up the wraps and made the eggs. Should we do the yolk test? Do you think it's gonna be a goodie? I feel like it is. I feel like I've perfected the yolk. Babe. It looks delicious. It's like the perfect, per perfect combo of not too runny, not too... Galangas food envy. Babe, your sandwich looks good. This is what Galang's <laughs> eating for lunch. We won't talk about how many calories. <laughs> Okay, that's it my girls. I'll show you how to make it. I'll put the calories up of everything and we are now gonna enjoy our delicious wraps. I usually end my lunch with a delicious cup of coffee. I'm using this Beanie's flavored coffee which I found at Checkers. It is really nice and it's zero calories. I add this little sweetener um, tablets to this. I normally add about three equals now I like it sweet. For my coffee, I actually use low fat milk because I find that I use less. And then just top it up with hot water and give it a good stir. And it has a delicious caramel creamy flavor. And of course, I'm also gonna have one little block of lint chocolate to go with that. We won't count the edges. It's one block, I promise. Guys, so I just got a little package dropped off of a new gym item that I ordered from one of my favorite gym wear brands called DF, which is designed for fitness. I will put their, po their page up here. Guys, I'm so excited about this. It is so hot right now. Like you could basically wear this. So it's a bodysuit. Um, and it's like super slink at the back. But anyway, um, if you wear it with pants, you're all good. Like I went out without pants and Galan was like, are you trying to be a stripper right now? Let's ask Galan what he thinks. Babe. Babe, what do you think about my new gym outfit? <laughs> do you think it's too much? I think it's too little. That's what I think. Do you think it's maybe more for winter? Are you getting me in my uh, in my uh, special broadcasting outfit? But people like to see you in shorts, babe. This is how I do my meetings, people. Really? Serious on top, fun at the bottom. Sleeping on the bottom. Oh, uh, now on the bottom. Those are the noisy, noisiest slippers if anyone ever, ever made. Babe, did you not say whether you like my outfit or not? I, I really love your outfit for home use. <laughs> only. Only for home use, for my eyes only. But basically, it's a bodysuit when it's and it's got this gorgeous mesh. So, 
the arms are mesh, the whole back is mesh, and it's got these beautiful cutouts, and wearing this with a black pair of pants, like you could basically wear this out with like a hot pair of pants, and you can wear it to the gym. This will be for special occasions though, at the gym. How nice. You guys have to check out this stuff. How nice. On to my afternoon snack. Yes, this is my cottage cheese obsession. For all of you that were very sad that you couldn't find the gourmet Greek yogurt, do not fear, cottage cheese will do. So I'm having some cottage cheese with the Skinny Foods Jam. It's probably the only Skinny Foods product I actually love. I think this was the black currant one. And I mix it in with some sweetener into my cottage cheese. I kid you not, it tastes like the most thick, delicious, creamy yogurt you have ever had. If you haven't tried this yet, get on it, girl, you need to try this. Then I add a whole range of frozen fruit. So I'm adding some strawberries, some blueberries. This comes as like a frozen pack. I think that I got this one in Dunkel. And then my favorite frozen fruit of all time is mango because it actually softens really quickly and becomes this really delicious, um, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. The words leave me. And then you top it with some wonderful maple syrup. Once again, the sugar-free one from Malden's Farm, which is zero calories. And there is my high protein, delicious afternoon snack. Time to get dinner on the go. And I am going to be making some zucchini chips, which you may have seen me post on Instagram. So what I do is I just cut off the ends of my zucchini and then I cut them four or well, two times into four different thin strips. I then pop them into the microwave for around eight minutes just to soften them before I'm going to pop them into the air fryer. So tonight we are actually making Lean Girl Tush Friendly Tacos, another recipe you will find inside the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach. I'm using ostrich mints here because it is really nice and lean and I've got a hot pan here, some non-stick spray and I'm spicing this up with all of my favorite flavors because it doesn't have a lot of fat in it you do need to add quite a lot of spices so i've added my funky oma spice some paprika some garlic powder i'm not even sure what else i put in there and then you basically just want it to start browning and then you can add a couple of your favorite low calorie sauces which i find really increases the depth of flavor in the mince so i'm adding sriracha i'm adding some sweet chili sauce you can also add a little bit of um, tomato and onion mix you can even go ahead and add some Mrs. Ball's chutney, which is also one of my other favorites um, in my mince. And this is how I make my basic mince. And this is fab to do as meal prep, which you can use in so many different recipes. Um, you can use it in wraps. You could use it in omelets. You could make lasagna. You could make spaghetti bolognese. So many nice ideas. So then for my zucchini chips, I pop them into my air fryer tray and I spice them up once again. This is my go-to funky Oma spice and this is also a nice one. It's the Cajun spice from Carb Smart, which you can grab at Diskem. And I spice everything up really nicely. I like to spice things before I put them in the air fryer as I find it just sticks a lot better. And then I pop these into the air fryer on 180 for around 10 minutes to just crisp up and get golden. So now we are going to put our little tacos together. I love to use some lettuce, which just gives a nice freshness to the taco. So this is just some curly lettuce that I'm just chopping up here. I'm then using these taco shells and they are really nice because they're only around 65 calories or so for one taco. And then I've popped my lettuce inside and then I'm going to add my delicious spicy mince. And guys, this is such a wonderful quick dinner idea um, that is so delicious. It has all the right textures. It's got the crunch. It's got the spiciness um, and they're actually really nice and filling as well. Um, and then I'm going to serve these with 
A little bit of cheese sprinkled on top. You cannot have a taco without some cheese. I like to use mature cheddar cheese because I find you really don't need a lot, but it's still got that really strong cheesy flavor. So definitely go for mature cheddar. And then I'm serving these up with my little zucchini fries, which are gonna add some wonderful micronutrients to the dish, as well as bulk it up for all of my hungry girls. I like to always have a full plate of food. And there you go for a quick evening midweek dinner meal. Lean Girl Tush Friendly Tacos. Okay, darling girls, that brings us to the end of my What I Eat in a Day to Build Lean Muscle. I hope that you guys got some awesome meal ideas throughout the day. I know I have meals on repeat, so you may have seen a couple of them already on Instagram, but hey, it doesn't help to watch me make them from scratch. Um, and I hope that this video is going to inspire you to eat more of that good muscle building protein and actually consider doing a good phase where you are not in a calorie deficit and you're eating more food to really fuel those muscle gains. Remember that all the recipes that I went through today are inside my Lingo Kitchen Coach, which is my ultimate recipe hub. So if you are looking for a great meal planning tool that is the best thing you're gonna get as an SA girl. It has got all my recipes. It has the best convenience food choices. It has your local takeout options. Like what should I order at my favorite pizza place that is the lowest calorie? Like that kind of good stuff. It's got all my favorites in there. So what sauces, what spices, what are the best low calorie finds I have ever come across? They're all in there for you. I've got quick calorie guides pretty much everything that you need to plan delicious meals that are fit for not only fat loss, but muscle gains too. So my girls, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I hope that you had fun. I had fun filming it for you today. Let me know if you want to see more What I Eat In A Day videos. And again, if you want me to do a What I Eat In A Day for fat loss um, in my fat loss phase, which is going to be coming soon. Guys, on a last note, I just wanna say thank you so much for all the love and support on my channel, on my Instagram. Um, you guys really just make me jump up and make me excited to wake up and do what I do every single day. And I read each one of your messages. I read all of the comments and all of that love just fuels me to do more and be more. And I just want to say, I love you all so much. And I am so grateful for you. Um, and I hope that you all have a magical day. Mm -hmm.